All right, guys, we're back with another one. And this is the Samsung Chromebook Plus. Forward to playing around with Chromebooks again. This is on point. So this is the newest addition to the Chromebook family. So here we have the tips for the pen because I'm sure you guys know that this got a pen that goes with it. And right here we have the Samsung brick and it's USB type C. So USB to type C cable the way it's supposed to be. So got this from Best Buy. I couldn't resist. It was the last one that Best Buy have. This is wow. This is cold to the touch. Samsung logo. You got the Chrome logo right there. This is hot. So you got the hinges back here. I like the edges. The edges are not squared off. They're more rounded off. This looks really, really good. So let's take off some of this plastic that they have on here. And let's take a look. Let's see if it boots up on the first try. No, we gotta get this plugged in. All right, so we got it plugged in and it's booting up. Look at that fast boot up. We literally just plugged it in. Wow. All right, so let's continue to look around. We could plug it out now. Underneath, nice and clean. Underneath, you got a couple of screws. You got a couple of feet, all four corners, rubber, rubberized feet. You got the speakers at the bottom, but at the sides, which is cool. This feel nice and premium. Aluminum all around. You got your headphone jack, type C, and this is the micro SD card slot. And on this side, you have the volume up and down. You have a power and another type C port, and you have your S Pen. Let's take a look at that. So I'm going to call it an S Pen. That's what I'm just going to call it. Nice chrome looking. That's how it looks. So call it a stylus, call it an S Pen, whatever it is. We got a built-in stylus it's aluminum. With this it's cold to the touch. It just feels good. This screen is absolutely awesome. First impressions. The keyboard, I still gotta feel it out, but so far so good. The um, trackpad feels like a glass trackpad. So far, so good. The keyboard, a little bit different, but it's it's a nice layout. I love the design of this Chromebook. Easily to fall in love with easy to go crazy about now this with a processor comes with the a cortex something it is a arm processor I'm a little bit leery about the processor 4 gigs of RAM 32 gigs of storage and it has one megabyte of cache I'm a little concerned about that because this Chromebook is doing a lot remember you are asking this processor to push to push a high res screen so I'm a little leery about that, but I did some stuff, been messing around with it. And I must honestly say, I'm still a little leery about that processor. I wish Samsung would have gone up a little bit more with the processor, but I'm going to still put it through its paces, but so far so good. The app store behaved properly and everything. So what we're going to do right now, let's go into the sound test and let's play some games and see is that half volume let's turn it up that's about 75 or so hundred percent Oh, 
Wow, I got that. All right, that's the end of the quarter. Bang. 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 There you go. Come on. Yo, these games play very good. Look at that. These games play very good. Look at that, man. Ha! Look at that, man. Look at that. All right, post that up. There you go. There you go. There you go. I am pretty impressed. The app store functioned like a dream. No problems, no hiccups, no no errors, no nothing. The app store performed. Gaming on this felt pretty good, even though it was just a couple of minutes of, of gaming. Um, everything felt good. The app store seems to be ready for this Chromebook now. I know a lot of other reviews said that the Ash app store is still in beta it, this this don't feel like beta to me right now this feels fully polished good job samsung for getting this ready with google now when it comes to doing some tasks i've noticed a little bit of stuttering and now i use the chromebooks hard i edit video and stuff like that and i actually did edit a video so and I don't feel 100% comfortable that this can handle a load like editing. But it performed very good when it came to the Google Play Store. So I'm going to ask you guys to hold. If you're waiting for my video on this Chromebook, I'm going to ask you guys to hold off for a while before you buy this. It's $449. And I don't want to say, yes, this is a definite buy. The screen is good. The body's good. And then the processor is holding you back. So stay tuned for my last word review. I'm going to try to do a comparison video with this Chromebook against something that's comparable to it. So I'm going to go buy something right now. So you guys can let me know what Chromebook will be in good competition with this Chromebook when it comes to the power and the screen and so forth and the build. So I'm going to put it through its paces. I'm going to work this hard. I've been looking forward to this Chromebook, a smaller Chromebook, a different Chromebook for a while. So I'm going to put it through its paces. I'm going to see how long the battery life lasts. I'm going to check out that webcam because it says it's 720p. And I'm going to check out everything else. So stay tuned for the last word review. And I'm going to let you guys know, is this Chromebook really on point? So pretty much with that, guys. That's the end of this one. This is the unboxing of the Samsung Chromebook Plus. Wait for the last word review. We'll see you in the next one. Oh. There you go. Look at that. This is how a Star Trek game should be. But it's not a Star Trek game.